All right, people, if you like to read, then there's no other place you need to be than right here on LA TV platform. As you can see, I'm a self published author of several books, and you can see it as it goes by. I'm so excited about all my accomplishments. And keep going, you're gonna see Sandwich Man, Shine the Floor, just to name a few. Keep on going, and I even have introducing a journal line. I have so many journals self published by myself, I can't even put them all on here. Just check me out via Amazon or just simply type in LA Understood. Bye. Alright people, if you like to read, then there's no other place you need to be than right here on LA TV platform. As you can see, I'm a self-published author of several books and you can see it as it goes by. I'm so excited about all my accomplishments. And keep going, you're gonna see Sandwich Man, Shine the Floor, just to name a few. Keep on going and I even have introducing a journal line. I have so many journals self-published by myself, I can't even put them all on here. Just check me out via Amazon or just simply type in LA Understood. Bye. One day, I'm gonna come home. I'm gonna come over and bite your leg off. Quit feeding me all these cheap dog foods that you see at the Dollar Tree. Okay, okay, I take that back. I went to the Dollar Tree and I saw a gravy train. Okay, I can take frickin' gravy train, I guess. But not the dry get gravy train. It's disgusting. The bag deliberately says it makes its own gravy. How do you effin' think it's gonna make its own gravy? You're sure definitely not going to have the decency to pour water in there. We make our own gravy. I make my own gravy. So if you're going to give me gravy train from the Dollar Tree, make sure it's in the freaking can. Or one day, I'm going to be bad and bite your hand off and run away. This freaking world's coming to an end anyways. I ain't got nothing to lose. I'm a dog. I can do what I choose. I can choose to stay here in the house with you and eat this cheap food. But run on my own. Run on my own. All right, y'all. You know, so today, you know, I'm just kind of just, you know, just catching the views out. You know, I'm putting this in my little private collection. You know what I'm saying? Just to kind of get a view of the fall weather, you know. And, um, so, you know, no, no one knows it's going to my private collection. So that's what usually where it goes. So nobody don't usually uh, see these things. So it's just a view here. And what is, what's that? What is she? What is you? <laughs> what is she? What are you doing? Y'all, what the hell she do? What do you do? Hey, what it? <laughs> Hey, what what are you doing, man? Yeah, what are you doing? You ain't doing nothing. What you got? What? <laughs> what you got, man? <laughs> what you? <laughs> Where you going? This is No, no, it's not. It was. What is this? What, you, what card were you gonna call cops? I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna call. <laughs> what do you? What, what you got there? DVD. 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 <laughs> Let me. Oh, look at the serial number. That's how they gonna get me. Who, who gonna get you? Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody gonna get you. Who gonna get you? Why are you telling me this? What are you doing? This is going in my private collection. I'm not. Right. <laughs> where you need to go? Out of here. Out of where? Over to the ranch where we hang, man. Come on, look at me. Okay, let's go this way. Come on. Just keep going. Just, 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 no.
this is going. Class. I'm watching everything. This is terrible back here. What the hell? What the hell they got going on back here? Did you do all this too? Did you do all this too? <laughs> but you got you got some months to go. So this is where you've been hanging out at? hearing all this noise in the back so is this it's my house it's my home so you so you're the one that's been making all the noise uh, no i'm making quality living what do you want <laughs> i was just i'm hot i'm cold it's windy i gotta set up my dvd <laughs> player before it gets dark because my solar panels that i stole i borrowed from somebody i gotta bring them back before the sun goes down and I can't be out when the sun goes down because Jason's coming. <laughs> it's Friday the 13th yesterday and it's Halloween coming and I I I I got a what do you want man I just uh, what's what's that in your what what <laughs> it's okay it's it's okay it's okay it's okay go ahead and no 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 put that down put that down it's okay it's all right all right, cool. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Are you a ballerina? Equilibrium. You taught me something. What'd it teach you? Do this. <laughs> You're in trouble. Equilibrium like Keanu Reeves. <laughs> okay. Keanu Reeves is an equilibrium. I thought he was in the Matrix. Yeah, brushing my hair yeah so it's so unprofessional you know what screw you this is my show i do what i want to do <laughs> la what's gotten into you no how you guys doing today happy new year to all you people because i haven't told everybody happy new year yet i spoke to the um facebookers um google plus people and i was about to call you guys netflix people instagram people thank you all for following thank you for being loyal and all that i do appreciate your comments i appreciate your likes and all those little hearts and stuff you send i want to talk about today you know still pertaining into regards of the new year because you know it was never too late to make changes you know some people like to wait till the beginning of the year to do things to each his own but i feel if you have some type of resolution or whatever you should do it asap especially if it's going to make you a better person and put you in a better place, a better mind, a frame of mind. Um, 
what this is is titled this is titled on the lines of um getting back to the old you sometimes you might get in a rut sometimes you might get in the funk and you're like oh my gosh i just i don't know what to do i just can't make it i just don't have it i feel off i feel stuck i feel i feel out of place something's wrong i used to have it what happened to me you know and i'm gonna be real with you, you know for example if you're going through like the facebook post and you could be having a bad day and all of a sudden you see Mrs. Peabody doing everything and keeping up with the Joneses. Don't let that stuff beat you up. But if it do and you feel like the people's progress is better than yours and you be real with yourself, just take a breath and think about what you used to do when you were younger. What was that defining moment you had when you were younger and you realized, hey, this is me. This is what I do. This is who I am. This is what I love to do. This is what I like to do past time. Find that. Because sometimes we do forget ourselves along the way because we have to pick up other hats. It's not like we want to. It's just the way life is. It's just like saying you have to grow up. We really don't want to grow up. Let's get real now. We don't want to grow up because for most people it was fun. It was less responsibility. That's the only reason. You know, get grown, get grown, get grown. That's stupid. I know children who are 12 years old who are more mature than people who are 35, 40. So get grown is a mindset. It's the way you carry yourself. It's about moral. So... Everybody, shut the F up. If you're talking about some get grown, it's about a mindset. Um, having said that, get back to that point in life where everything in your head felt right. That ah moment, like when you got home from school or you got home from work and you had a hobby or something, or you took extra time off for yourself to do things, went to the movies, just sat down and meditated, you know, on those beanbag things you can get for those hookah stores in the mall, or you know them, you know them stores, so you get those beanbag pillows and you're there, ding, 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 oh. <laughs> you know, I'm talking about meditate on the yoga beanbag pillow chair. Do whatever it is. But just take this time to reflect. If you're still trying to figure out what you want to do with your life. As for me, when I was little, I like I, I liked to write. But when I was little, I didn't realize I liked to write until it hit me one summer vacation. And I'm like, man, I sure do write a lot. And I looked back into my room and saw that everything was compiled of writings and, and drawings and what I leaned towards most outside of video games and collecting toys and stuff when I was a child was my writings. I realized that this is something that's been programmed in me to do. It's, it's natural. If you're a fashion designer, you'll take a look back in your head if you don't have any more evidence of the stuff that you used to do because you quote unquote want to grow up and maybe throw away a lot of childhood things. But look back in your head ask people what do they remember about you most that's positive that you did on a consistency and if it rings home with you and it made you feel comfortable in that piece maybe that's what you need to pick back up to do i'm not saying it may pay the bills or anything like that but i'm saying it will pay the bills far as a mental strain off of you it'll put more good energy into you so it will open up doors for you to probably increase your finances less stress you have more room to think you have more room to breathe you have room to take time to enjoy what life is really all about mothers who have babies don't feel dismay because you think you may lose your you've lost your way you don't know who you are it can happen it's natural don't get mad about it i mean it's if you a mom and you forget who you are it's easy because you're throwing your life into your children you're giving a part of yourself to that kid. But you have to find balance. And I know that can be hard sometimes. So just go through Facebook. And however you guys communicate on Facebook, some people put their whole life story on Facebook. What they doing, what they ate, when they use the bathroom. 
So however you communicate on Facebook that make you comfortable, reach out and be like, what do you remember most about me? I'm just doing a self-evaluation to make sure I haven't gone too far off the, spec the spectrum, you know? Do that and see what people say. Only to the people you feel comfortable with. Or if you want to just do an all-out all poll and have everybody and their mama comment, do it. Just take the criticism, take the good, take the bad, and, you know, be real with yourself and weigh it out. Now, this is for people who want real New Year's resolutions. And even for the people um, want to have some coffee table talk or something to talk about where at work near your water coolers or in cubicles or something. This is something positive to talk about. This is something healthy to talk about. And people who don't have friends, if you're at work, at least you can ask or keep an ear out on what they're constantly referring to you as. Are you happy? Or do they say hi to you? Do they come out their way to make small talk? Or as far as work, what do they say that best reflects who you are? It, it really don't take much. It's just you have to slow down. You have to slow down sometimes, and, and it's hard. It really is hard to slow down sometimes when it comes to taking time out for yourself. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not selfish. You don't want to go insane. I think it's the best thing to do. So what I like to say is for everybody, um, everybody, I'm not excluding anyone, just uh. Sometimes you have to go back to your old you. And I'm not talking about picking up bad habits or anything. But the old you that got you to where you are now. Because if you didn't have the good things about you from the old you, you wouldn't be here. Because the old you motivated you to this point. So, Happy New Year. Do that and remember in your head what you did best. That drove you to your greatness that you are in now. If you are stuck at a job that you don't like... I suggest that you do whatever you do to pray because that's all I'm going to say. However you guys do your praying or get your chi on. Hey, get your chi on. Um, see what you have to do so you can make some changes as far as that. I know a lot of people out here have jobs that they don't like, but the money is right. It sucks. Big time, because I've been a victim of that too many times, and I feel sorry for everybody, and I feel sorry for myself. But in the meantime, stay optimistic about it. Write a goal on the refrigerator and say, I will have a job that makes me happy. I will have a job that not only makes me happy, but, you know, pay for all the uh, un unnecessary stuff like consumers and <laughs> water bills. You know, I just want you guys to just have a new type of perspective in mind when it comes to these New Year's resolutions. It makes me sad and it makes me tired that every year it's always the same. It's nothing stupid about losing weight. It's not that hard. I mean, you can't lose it overnight, but if you take some pills, you can, but your heart might not like it. You might die. <laughs> So it's little steps, so don't kill yourself. It's little steps. If you like taking two bags of chips to work, for example, just take one. If you like 16 cookies, you eat 16 cookies throughout the day, eat 15 cookies a day. And then two months down the line, 10 cookies a day. You know, don't don't kill yourself trying to keep up with the Joneses. And I'm finding myself right now repeating myself over and over and over, but apparently this is for someone. I can feel it. Back to the topic again, if you want to do something different or you're looking for a different type of change in your life, go back to the old you, the old you that got you to where you are now in a good way. Sometimes you need to be reminded just of all the, all the qualities that you have because you can't forget because this life can make you forget. People can make you forget. Looking on Facebook can make you forget. And you start making choices that don't even have nothing to do with your life and what you like to do because you feel stupid because you think you're not accomplishing anything. Don't do that. You know, don't do that. Just be happy you're you and you're not those people. Please be happy you're you and you're not those people. I wouldn't want to be anybody else but myself. <laughs> You know, flaws and all, I would not want to be anybody else. Past and everything, I'm happy 
for who I am. I would not want to be anybody else. So you guys got to take that in mind too. So number one, remember how cool you are and what got you here in the first place for being cool. And number two, please be happy you're you. Don't want to be anyone else. Don't want to be like anyone else. But I can say if there are qualities that are good and not flamboyant, not superficial, then you can fix yourself in that way. But don't act stupid just to try to be like somebody else and make yourself feel good. Because at the end of the day, when Facebook gets shut down <laughs> and you're on there stunting, you're not going to have a life. So you're going to be screwed either way. So you might as well start living for yourself and not others. And there's always time to start a New Year's resolution because technically every single year that happens is a new year. So you can start anytime within that year. Every year is a new birthday. You'll only be one year old one time. You'll only be 16 years old one time. You'll only be 23 one time. It'll only be one 2017. It'll only be one two 2020. So every year is a new year. So don't wait for anything to change like that. Fight, 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 fight. It sucks, but fight, 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 fight. Okay, it's me, LA. If you have any comments or if you have any suggestions on topics that you want me to talk about to keep you going or help you look at things differently, put them down here and look up there. I am, you know, on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, I'm on WordPress, Blogger, um, or just even type in LA Understood in the Google search engine. You'll find a lot. All right, people, if you like to read, then there's no other place you need to be than right here on LA TV platform. As you can see, I'm a self-published author of several books, and you can see it as it goes by. I'm so excited about all my accomplishments. And keep going, you're going to see Sandwich Man, Shine the Floor, just to name a few. Keep on going and I even have introducing a journal line. I have so many journals self-published by myself. I can't even put them all on here. Just check me out via Amazon or just simply type in LA Understood. Bye. All right, people, if you like to read, then there's no other place you need to be than right here on LA TV platform. As you can see, I'm a self-published author of several books, and you can see it as it goes by. I'm so excited about all my accomplishments. And keep going, you're going to see Sandwich Man, Shine the Floor, just to name a few. Keep on going and I even have introducing a journal line. I have so many journals self-published by myself. I can't even put them all on here. Just check me out via Amazon or just simply type in LA Understood. Bye. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>